Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning and it is so foggy out there. I hope you guys can see how foggy it is. It, it was a little bit scary driving into work today because it was so hard to see. Um, but today I'm here with a book. It is a fiction book, but is it, it is a book about squirrels because over the weekend my dog and I were walking and we saw a squirrel, we saw many squirrels, but this one started to come up to my dog and I just thought it was pretty funny. So I thought, well, I'll read a squirrel book. This is called Old Mama Squirrel by David Ezra Stein. And I can just imagine that the squirrel in this book is kind of like the squirrels that live by my house because I hear, a, I hear them and I, I think they're talking to my dog. I don't think they like my dog. Old Mama Squirrel had raised many babies. Mark my words, she'd say. There is no shortage of creatures that would love to snack on a baby squirrel. There she is, safe in her tree with them. But it won't happen on my watch. Whenever danger approached, Mama Squirrel went into action. Chook, 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 she'd say. Get away from my babies. Chook, chook, chook. Get out of my tree. No one could scold like old Mama Squirrel. The cat or owl that ran afoul of her would slink off looking for some easier meal. One day, while the babies were taking a nap, a nosy dog came sniffing around. Mama Squirrel clattered in the high branches. Chook, chook, chook. She chattered in the low branches. Chook, chook, chook. Look at that poor dog. I think that's what my dog would look like. She scrabbled right side up and upside down while she scolded that dog. Chook, chook, chook. The squirrel is crazy, said the dog. They must put crazy powder in the nuts around here. Help! And off it ran. And that takes care of that, said old Mama Squirrel. Mama Squirrel did not limit herself to known predators. She scolded kites, chook, 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 and airplanes, chook, chook, chook. She even scolded the man who came to prune the tree, chook, chook, chook. And that takes care of that, said old Mama Squirrel. One afternoon, while the babies were having a scamper on a high branch, a great growling grizzly bear came to town and climbed into Mama Squirrel's tree. Mama Squirrel sprang into action. Chook, 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 get out of my tree. Chook, 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 get away from my babies. You think the bear is scared? She clattered in the high branches and chattered in the low branches as she scolded that bear. Then she pelted him with last year's nuts. Plunk, right on his head. The bear was shocked, but then he laughed. Ha ha ha, why should I listen to one puny squirrel like you? I'll eat your whole family tree. A twitch of fear went through old Mama Squirrel's whiskers. But then she clenched her jaw. Not on my watch, Buster, said old Mama Squirrel. She scooped up her babies and went to raise the alarm. Chook, 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 by the fire escape. Chook, 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 under the tracks. Chook, chook, chook in the tops of the trees. Chook, 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 all over the park. So she's calling for help, calling for backup. The grizzly was just sticking his nose into Grandpappy Squirrel's nest hole when old Mama Squirrel got back. Chook, 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 said old Mama Squirrel. Chook, 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 said 20 other Mama Squirrels. Chook, chook, chook said 100 more mama squirrels. And they scolded him high and scolded him low and threw old nuts at him until he ran away 
and never came back. And that takes care of that, said old mama squirrel. The people of the town were grateful to old mama squirrel. They even put up a plaque on the spot where she scolded the grizzly. If you're ever in town, you should go see it. Chook, chook, chook. If you can get anywhere near it, because old mama squirrel is there. And that is the end. A little funny book about squirrels. Maybe you have squirrels around your house. Uh, I hope you have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day of the school week on Wednesday. So I will pick something good out to read to you guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.